welcome back to Frenchie's Bakery. Today we are going to be making, that was a Lamborghini starting up, sorry. <laughs> Today we are going to be making a Girl Scout cookie cake and we're going to be doing Thin Mints today. So Michael and I ordered a bunch of Girl Scout cookies. I let him know, I was like, hey, I'm ordering Girl Scout cookies for my little cousin. Like, that sounded like a Hellcat starting up. <laughs> He's being so loud, so inconsiderate. It's okay. So I ordered a bunch from my little cousin and I let him know like I was ordering a bunch. And he went and ordered some from one of our little neighbors. So we're really supporting the Girl Scouts this year. We ordered so many boxes. I think we have like 45 total boxes. Uh, the good news is apparently they can freeze very well, but I'm sure we'll be able to finish them anyways. So I think I already mentioned this, but we are doing Thin Mints today. Um, that's Mike's favorite cookie. I enjoy them a lot, but Samoa is probably my favorite. I did a Thin Mint Girl Scout cookie cake about three years ago on this channel. Um, and I'm going to do kind of like an updated version. It's going to look totally different. I have something in mind and I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be really cute. Um, and since we have so many cookies, I think we have every flavor except for, I don't know if it's a gluten-free or a vegan cookie. I'm not sure what it is. But we have every flavor, like all the peanut butter ones, shortbread, Samoas, they're all over on the counter there. Um, so I could make another cake if you guys would like. I know the second best is like Samoa to people. Um, it's a tie between like Samoa and Thin Mint. It, I mean, that's, at least for my followers, I know that's the case. So... Whatever you guys want, I could do another Samoa cake, um, but just let me know in the comments below and we can have fun with it. I think it'd be kind of fun to do a peanut butter cake, uh, so we'll think about it. But today is going to be the Thin Mint Cookies. So the first thing we're going to do is bake off our cake layers. Of course, we need a cake to decorate. So here I have some chocolate cake batter, and I don't know if you can see the sprinkles in it, but I did do confetti cake mix in this bowl before I mixed together my chocolate cake. So there's a little bit of sprinkles in it, but luckily it's just for me, so <laughs> there can be sprinkles in it. This isn't going to anyone. Um, so I just mix the batters together. And then I'm going to add in some peppermint extract. They have this at the grocery store. And I'm going to add in about a teaspoon, not much because it really, really is super, super potent. So, and the cookie really isn't that, that potent of a mint flavor. So we're just gonna add in a little bit of peppermint extract. And then today, since the cake is just for Mike and I, we're not taking it anywhere. I'm just going to fill up some six inch pans and I'm just gonna fill up three of them. I was debating on doing four, so it was a little bit taller, but I had just enough batter to do three. So this is perfect. And then we're just going to bake these and let them cool completely. And then we can get started on decorating it as soon as they are fully cooled. So my cake layers are fully baked. And while they are cooling, we are going to whip up some icing here. So I have a video up on how I make my buttercream icing. I share some really cool tips and tricks and behind the scenes secrets at bakeries and stuff. So if you wanna go check that out. The only difference is instead of adding in vanilla extract, we're gonna add in about a teaspoon of peppermint extract. So there's a little bit of a pepperminty flavor in the icing. And then I'm also going to add in a drop of green food coloring to make a mint color. So our icing is a really, really, really pretty mint color. And it's going to look awesome with the chocolate cookies on top. Since this cake is just for Michael and I, I'm going to be using the Betty Crocker milk chocolate icing. We are obsessed with this and we eat it out of the container. So I figured I could treat us and just use some Betty Crocker instead of me whipping up some chocolate icing myself. All right, so our cakes are fully baked, fully cooled. We have our icing here ready to go. I have a bag of Thin Mints crushed up. I just put about six cookies in here and just smash them up because we're gonna be putting them in between the cake layers. And then I also have some ganache here. So the filling of this cake is gonna be the same as my old one, but it was just, it was too satisfying. So I couldn't pass that up and I have to do it again. So I already had this ganache made and it was in my fridge. I made this yesterday for some cupcakes. Um, so I'm just gonna explain to you guys how to make this. It's super simple. So you don't need like an elaborate, you know, full on video. So you're just going to get, you're gonna do equal parts, which makes it super simple. You're gonna do equal parts of heavy whipping cream and semi-sweet chocolates. So you're going to pop your, let's say we're gonna do a cup. We're gonna pop your cup of heavy whipping cream into the microwave and 
get it to a full boil, so it'll be about 30 seconds, and then you're gonna add in your chocolate chips, so a cup of chocolate chips, and just stir it around until it becomes a nice thick consistency and everything, it turns a very dark brown. And then you're just gonna let it sit at room temperature for about two hours and it'll become ganache. Um, or you could pop it in the fridge for about a half an hour and it'll thicken up pretty fast. So it's very, very easy to make. And I feel like I'm always having stuff on hand for ganache. Like I always have ganache on hand. So I never film a tutorial for you guys. Maybe I'll do just a video just making ganache so I can link it above like I do for my icing. Cause I'm always explaining and never showing. <laughs> so maybe I'll do that. Um, but it's very simple, so no worries at all. Um, so we are going to start assembling our cake. So I'm gonna grab my cake layers out of the fridge. All right, so I have my chocolate cake here. So we are going to do a glob of peppermint icing and we're just gonna smear this out and make it nice and even. And then we're going to do a border with some more icing so our cookies don't go everywhere. And I'm just going to sprinkle some cookies over the icing and then we're gonna do a nice drizzle of ganache right on top of that. And I'm gonna repeat this with every cake layer and then we are going to put on the crumb coat, make it nice and smooth and we'll pop it in the fridge for about 15 minutes. So our crumb coat is fully chilled, so I'm gonna add on our last bit of icing. We're just gonna put it on the sides and on the top, smooth it out nice and good. And then I have my little designed scraper here. You can get any type of design off of Amazon or Wilton. They have all sorts of different awesome, awesome designs. I'm going to do this little striped design here, and I'm gonna use the ones that are closer together. Um, I think I got this specific scraper off of Amazon. So we're just going to use this like it's a normal scraper. We're gonna press it against the cake and just keep going around until the stripes become nice and perfect. So you're gonna have to do this a few times until it fully smooths out. And then we are going to level off the top, make everything nice and smooth. And we are going to pop this back into the freezer for about 10 minutes before we add on our chocolate stripes to it. All right, so our cake is fully chilled. Now we're going to add on our chocolate stripes. So here I have some chocolate icing in a Ziploc baggie. You can also use a piping bag if you would like. I just use a Ziploc bag because I have plenty. And we're just going to pipe in between every other stripe. So we're gonna do this the whole way up the cake. And then we're going to take a bench scraper and just keep on scraping until the lines are perfect. And we will smooth out the top, pop it back in the fridge for about five more minutes, and then we will add on our finishing touches. All right, so our cake is fully cooled. Now we're going to add on our ganache drip. So I'm just gonna put a bunch on top, smooth it out, and then do a drip down the side. And then I'm going to add some cookie crumble on top. And I have some leftover peppermint icing here that I have in a piping bag fitted with a Wilton 1M tip. And I'm just going to do a bunch of swirls around the border. And then we will add some Girl Scout cookies to those swirls. All right, you guys, just like that, our Girl Scout cookie cake is finished. I absolutely love it. This is pretty similar to the one I did three years ago. Um, I just wanted to see like where my skills are and everything, and I just thought it would be fun. So I just love the chocolate and the peppermint colors together. I just think it's super, super pretty, and I absolutely love stripes on cakes, and I don't get to do it very often, so this is something that I thought of, and I just love it. I love how there are chocolate and peppermint stripes going up and down the whole cake. I just think it is so pretty. I just love this cake. It's so, so pretty, and it's gonna be super, super yummy, so I'm gonna have some for dessert tonight, and yeah, I just love this cake. So if you guys wanna see some more Girl Scout cookie cakes, 
I can do that. I do have plenty of cookies, um, but I really, really, really loved doing this one. I think it was a lot of fun. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Have a good rest of your day, everyone. Bye.